Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in to this one month beginner yoga challenge. Welcome to day 29. We're back outdoors in beautiful sunny Miami, Florida. It's super hot here for today. Get ready for the inner fire to be turned on. We're gonna work up to the dolphin pose, which is all about your shoulders and all about your core. So be prepared to sweat. Bring your hands together and we'll initiate our space with the sound om. Take a moment and reflect on your practice this month and think about what is yoga? What is yoga to you? What does it mean to be strong? Today we're planting the seeds of true spiritual strength and faith deep in your heart. I hope you keep that seed of inspiration to practice every day. So now keeping your hands right at the heart center, inhale, drawing the belly in, raise the arms above the head, look up, exhale, flow through the center line, come down, let's do that two more times, warming the shoulders up, inhale, raise the arms above the head, exhale, bring the arms down, again, inhale, raise the arms above the head, hold it up for five breaths, one, draw the belly in like you're reaching up and forward, two, three, four and exhale slowly come down keeping the belly drawn in we'll move over to the hands and knees plank from here roll over onto your hands and knees and get set up remember your hands shoulder width apart and your knees just under the hips now gripping your fingertips rooting down through the knuckles pressing through the heels of the hands let's stay here for five breaths all right so we're warming up the shoulders one Two, keep the belly drawn in. Guys, remember to like the video and leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel after one month of consistent practice. Two, three, nice and steady, four, and five. Exhale, dip your shoulders down. Inhale, big push, take it up. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, abs in, take it up. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, take it up. I hope these got easier for you over the month. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Again, exhale, go down. Inhale, take it up. Hold it again for five. One, two, three, four. Move the shoulders forward and pull it back. Move the shoulders forward. Pull it back. Let's do that five times. Move it forward and pull it back. And again, forward, grip your fingertips, pull it back. Move it forward, grip the fingertips, pull it back. Move it forward, grip the fingertips, pull it back. You're doing good and hold it forward. One, two, three, four. All right, suck in the belly and let's go all the way back to child's pose. And holding child's pose for a few moments. Keep the belly drawn in and then inhale. Come on back up onto your hands and knees. Okay guys, if you're ready to practice yoga, then your mind is clear or getting clearer. The body is getting stronger with each breath. Now we're gonna continue warming up the shoulders. We're gonna drop the elbows down. So exhale, drop the elbows down. Inhale, pick the elbows, come up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Let's do that five more times. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Only three more. Exhale down, keep your endurance, keep your stamina. Come on back up. Exhale, elbows down. Come on back up. Press from the shoulders. And again, exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Press from the shoulders. Grip your fingertips and hold it for five. One, steady breathing. Two, steady breathing. Three, four and five drop the elbows down keep the belly drawn in and let's hold it down here for five so here you are and we're building the strength and the alignment for the dolphin plank so your elbow placement is really important now come on take the elbows back up and when you put the hands down pause for a moment and let's just draw the elbows a little bit in so they almost come into a v shape and then press your forearms to lock the flesh of the forearms in place so the elbows won't slide anymore now let's test that out so come on up and we'll hold this for five. One, two, three, draw the belly in, four, and five. Now we have our elbows down, we're gonna roll through the same movements we did in plank. So exhale, dip down, inhale, big push, take it up, exhale, go down, inhale, take it up, exhale, go down, inhale, take it up, two more, exhale, go down, inhale, take it up, exhale, go down, 
Inhale, take it up. This next one's really important for building all of these forearm poses. So slowly move your shoulders forward and pull it back. Inhale, move it forward and exhale, pull it back. And come on forward and pull it back. And let's move it forward and pull it back. Three more times. Move it forward, keep pushing. Exhale, come back. Inhale, move it forward and exhale, pull it back. One more, move it forward. Hold it forward, press from the shoulders, press into your elbows, one. Two, some people like to wrap a strap around the elbows. I don't advise you to do that. You wanna develop the strength in your shoulders to hold the elbows in place. We start off with this basic version. If as you go on, you find that this is really fatiguing you, you feel really tired, I want you to repeat this with your knees down on the elbows. No need to go deeper if you're not ready yet. Okay, let's come all the way back, child's pose. Nice breath in and nice breath out. Tune into the body. Go on the journey of strength and let it really start to come one breath at a time. So let's come on back to the hands and knees plank for a moment. So here we are, hands and knees plank, and we're going to come all the way up to plank, okay? So curl your toes under and inhale, draw the belly in, and let's come on up to plank. Hold it in, one, grip your fingers, two, big push, three, four, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Pause for a moment. Let's have five breaths in downward facing dog. One, keep your belly drawn in. Take a moment and make sure the shoulders are rolling open. The belly is in, the kneecaps lifted. Two, breath is nice, long and steady. Three, four, and let's sink the knees down in puppy pose. Bring your hands forward and head down. Soften through the armpits, keeping the elbows straight. Two, three, four. Lift your head up and walk your hands back. We're gonna open the knees to release the groin. So sink the hips back, hands forward, head down. One, two, releasing the inner thighs. Three, four, and five and come on back up onto your hands and knees we're going to come all the way back up to plank okay we got to really warm up our plank root down through the heels of the hands the knuckles and the fingertips curl the toes under and inhale come on back up to plank okay exhale dip down inhale take it up remember you can do this from your knees if it's too tough for your wrists or too tough for the shoulders exhale dip down inhale take it up exhale dip down inhale take it up exhale dip down inhale take it up Exhale, dip down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. One more, move it forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And again, downward facing for a couple breaths. One, two, three. Keep the belly drawn in. Keep your mind calm, harmonious, peaceful inwardly focused four and five okay let's bend the knees down now we're going to build up to the dolphin plank so this is a real tough pose for the shoulders remember you can do it with your knees down if you're not ready to come up into the full dolphin plank okay very important shoulder stabilization for headstands for many strength poses and also shoulder flexibility all right exhale dip those elbows down remember start off in that little v shape so you bring the elbows a little together hook the forearms okay so we're going to hook the forearms pause here for a moment and just tune in am i ready to do this with the legs back or do i want to keep the knees down ask your body that question tune in if your body says knees down respect that but if your body says i'm feeling good then you could go ahead and pop those legs back super important to respect your body and here we are in the dolphin plank hold it for five one two three four and five place your knees down and let's pop it back to child's pose all right that was the first of the dolphin planks that we're going to do the first but not the last and big breath in and big breath out take a moment make peace with the body make peace with where you are yeah, and let's come on back up okay guys let's come on back up here we go walk your hands a little forward we're going to again do the dolphin plank so let's wrap the elbows in as you wrap the elbows in start to widen the shoulders draw the belly in and inhale as you pop the legs back now 
pause here for a couple breaths and tune in. Make sure your body says you're doing all right. Make sure there's no sharp sensations anywhere in the body. Squeeze your butt a little bit. And now if you can, exhale, dip down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, big push. Exhale, down. Inhale, big push. Exhale, down. Inhale, big push. Don't grip with the fingers. It's all in the elbows. Keep going up and down. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Okay, hold it up. Hold it up. If you need a break, you put the knees down, but if you can hold it. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. I know these are tough. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. Your shoulders are burning. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. One more. Move it forward. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, place your belly all the way on the ground. Point your feet. And let's pause for a moment. Coming on to the elbows. Inhale, lift the chest up and forward. We'll hold it there for a couple breaths. Releasing the back. One. Soften your glutes now. Two. Three. Four. Curl your toes under and let's come all the way up to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Nice downward facing. Just pause here for a moment. Suck in the belly deeply in, creating that sense of emptiness and deep inner connection. Then drop the knees down. And again, we're going to do another dolphin plank. Maybe we'll see a dolphin today. That would be so cool if we saw a dolphin. So now, we place the elbows down and let's just do it again from the full plank. So wrap the elbows in after you wrap the elbows in. Okay. I mean, the elbows are really the place where you're bearing weight. So you want to avoid gripping or uh, turning the wrist forwards with just the really root down with the elbows. And now you're going to walk the legs back. Okay. This is going to be a pretty intense dolphin plank. Are you ready? Okay. So now here we go. Pop the legs back, hold it hold it hold it and now we're going to twist the plank right side left side right side left side go as much as you can right side keep the belly in left side right side left side if you can go all the way over to the side all the way over to the side twist the plank twist the dolphin like a dolphin twisting and jumping in the air twist it just keep going side keep your belly inside roll over the toes side over the toes side over the toes side you can do it a few more over the toes side this is really helping your hips learn where they are in space as well as working your internal obliques a few more keep going side side one more last one back to the center hold it hold it hold it all right let's come on down rest for a moment and then pick it up to the sphinx pose chest is forward sternum is rising up curl your toes under walk the hands back and inhale upward facing exhale downward facing nice big breath in and downward facing and big breath out now since we twisted the plank let's twist the dog right knee in drop it over to the side so now we're really releasing through the shoulder 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 back to the center left knee in twist to the side feel that right shoulder reaching stretching releasing and back to the center knees down child's pose let's rest for a moment nice inhale and exhale and exhale again and then let's come on back up now when we come up this time, I want you to reach forward and then lie down on your stomach. Not so bad, huh? It's unfortunately going to get pretty intense real quick. So you're going to go over onto the side. We're going to do the side plank. All right, we're going to do the side plank on the forearms. The side plank on the forearms. You want the elbow just a little bit ahead of your shoulder. And then we're really going to use your internal obliques and the lower abs. All right, so here we go. Inhale up and we'll hold it for five. One two three if this is intense for you when we start adding in you're just going to hold it up you can use your hand for a little extra balance four and five exhale dip down inhale up exhale down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up two more exhale down inhale take it up exhale down inhale take it up hold it hold it hold it lift your arm hold it hold it hold it hand down butt down you survived but we got to do the other side oh no let's go the other side okay so we'll roll over all the way over and now moving on to the side you want to make sure that when you stack yourselves along the side so you don't want to be in a V 
you don't want to be in a back bend. You want to be just aligned right at the center, okay? So now, flex the feet, draw the belly in, hand here. If you're using your hand for balance, it's in front of you. Make sure the elbow's a little forward of the shoulder and then inhale, take it up. One, two, three, four. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. So we pick up from the abs. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, take it up. Hold it. Lift the arm if you can. One, two, three, four. Hand down. Butt down. Back to the center. Rest for a moment and then press it up to the Sphinx pose. Hold it, hold it. Hands back, toes curl under. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, so here we go. Right side, elbow down. Left side, elbow down. Left side, hand up. Right side, hand up. So that's right, left, left, right. So we glide the hand forward, glide the hand forward. Hand to where the elbow was hand to where the elbow is. Then we switch. Left side, right side. Take it back up and up. Left side, right side. Right side, left side. Again, left, right, right. Come on back up. One more. Left, right, all the way back up. Hold it for a moment. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, back to child's pose. As you're here, just tune in for a moment and see. Was that all right or was that difficult? If it was difficult, you're going to repeat it again because you're already finding your challenge. But if you want to try it from playing, it's going to be pretty hard. Okay. Inhale. Come on back up. So guys, I want you to use these videos again and again and again. I don't want it to be just a once off. You try it once, it was hard, it was, it was easy. I want you to do it again and again. It's years of consistent practice that make the real difference in your yoga practice. Okay, so here we go. Curl your toes under and inhale, if you can, all the way up to plank, but if you wanna do it with the knees down until you're strong enough, no problem. Here we go, right side, left side, walk it back up. Right side, left side, walk it back up. Right side, left side, walk it back up, stay. And right side, left side, walk it back up. Let's do that one more time. Right side, left side, walk it back up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. If you pause and tune in, you're gonna notice that the right shoulder feels like it got worked more than the left. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that right now. So come on back up to the plank, here we go. Come on back up to the plank and left side, right side, walk it back up. Left side, right side, walk it back up. Left side, right side, push from your shoulders to come on back up. Left side, right side, walk it back up. One more, left side, right side, walk it back up. Hold it, hold it, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Pause, breathe, turn your mind inward, and exhale, knees down. Child's pose for a moment. Tune in, bringing your attention inward. And then inhale, come on back up. Okay, so when we come here, the next thing we're gonna do is really challenging. First, we're gonna do it again on the hands and knees. We did this at the beginning of the class, but we're gonna do it again. So here we go. Exhale, wrap the elbows in. Inhale, wrap the elbows, come up. Exhale, wrap the elbows in. Inhale, wrap the elbows, come up. Exhale, wrap the elbows in. Inhale, wrap the elbows, come up. We're gonna add a little bit of challenge. Send your right leg back. So now you have half of your legs off of the ground. So one of your legs is off the ground. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. One more time. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Switch, left leg is back. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, come on back up. Okay, if you're ready for the challenge, this is really hard, okay? Really hard. This should feel really, really difficult. So here we go. Inhale, pick the feet up, bring them together. This is really hard, okay? Exhale, slowly, elbows down. Inhale, slowly, elbows come up. Exhale, slowly, elbows down. Inhale, slowly, elbows come up. One more time, exhale, slowly, elbows down. 
inhale, slowly elbows come up, hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Pause here for a moment. You did a good job, okay? You did a good job. No matter if you clung to the ground, you did a good job. Let's place your knees down, child's pose. Let's rest for a moment. Inhale, exhale. All right, guys, are you ready for the dolphin plank? I know I am, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna feel, it looks like the waves are also ready for the dolphin plank, so maybe we're gonna get our dolphin after all. If we don't see one, we're gonna become one. So here we go, we're gonna take it nice and easy. Exhale, elbows down, press from the shoulders, widen the shoulders, spread the collarbone. Curl your toes under and then feel the emptiness behind the pubic bone and then inhale, hips up. Walk, walk, walk in, five breaths. One, two, three, press from the shoulders, four, and five. Now inhale, come up onto your toes, move the shoulders forward, one, two, you can do it, three, don't give up, four, walk it back to the dolphin pose, dolphin pose, chest down, rest, come on up to the sphinx pose for a moment, lift the center of the chest, toes curl under, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, plant your knees down again, we're going to try it again, and exhale, place your elbows down, we're going to do it one more time, okay, let's wrap those elbows in, and inhale, pick the legs up, walk in, walk in, walk in, and again, the dolphin pose, five breaths, one, two, three, four, steady, and shoulders come a little forward, one, a little surprise for you, two, three, four, left knee into your chest, one, two, three, four, put it down, right knee into your chest, one, two, three, four, place the foot down, walk, walk, all the way down, send the chest up and forward, sphinx pose for a moment, curl the toes, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, we're going to do the dolphin pose one more time, but this time we're going to enter it from downward dog, all right, so look at your hands, we so you switch the gaze to the hands, and now wrap the elbows coming down, so you wrap the elbows as you go down, all right, and then I got a little surprise for you, but really check in, make sure you're ready for it. If you're at your limit, stay here or put your knees down. But if you can, press from the shoulders, then inhale, lift your right leg up and hold it. One, two, three. You can even move the shoulders a little forward. Four, and switch it down, left leg up. One, point your foot, move the shoulders a little forward. Two, three, four, place it down, hold it. We're almost done. Two, three. And step it back, dolphin, dolphin, all the way down, and come on up. Oh, lift your sternum up, nice big breath, curl the toes under, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now we're gonna look forward. Don't think you got away from those glide throughs in this class. Here we go, knees forward, glide the feet through, keep it up, exhale down. Okay, that was tough. Your shoulders burning, you may feel a little tension up around the trapezius. Don't worry, we're going to release that right now. Bend the knees, slowly roll the spine down. Okay, just pause for a moment and <sighs> congratulate yourself for making it this far. You're doing so good, okay? For those of you who are inspired to practice next month, we're going to have the summer yoga course, four classes, one class a week for you to practice with to complement your journey and really uh, just support your practice. And now we're going to begin some movements to release the shoulders, release the hips. Hands go near your feet. Inhale, send the hips up and forward. Interlock the fingers, roll, and hips up. One, two, three, four, and slowly down. Roll the knees towards each other. We're gonna repeat it again. Draw the belly deeply in, send the knees forward and inhale, hips up. Walk the hands in, shoulders under, and here we go. One, steady breathing, two, we'll draw the belly in, three, four, and five. Come on all the way down. Okay guys, you wanna check in with yourself and make sure that you feel all right. If you feel good, see if we can take it a little deeper but if you felt that the simple bridge was challenging again you're going to repeat the simple bridge okay so here we go now hands under the shoulders 
We're gonna use the same elbow position. So inhale, roll back, and then after you roll back, place the top of the head on the ground, glide your left hand under, glide your right hand under, and then press into the elbows and just roll onto the top of the head. And we'll hold that for a couple breaths. One, two, Really use your elbows and maybe you can get the top of the head off the ground, but if not, no problem. Three, four, don't try to do a super deep back bend, just let this release your upper back and your shoulders, and five, placing the top of the head down, remove your hands, send the butt down, and slowly all the way down. Okay, doing good. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. Let's go a little forward on the mat. We're gonna go to Halasana, the plow pose. So inhale, first lift your legs, nice and steady here. Feel the femurs dropping into their sockets. And then slowly bring your thighs close to the body and then all the way over, reaching your toes down. If you need to hold your hips, no problem. But if possible, interlock your fingers and roll the shoulders towards each other, pointing the feet and hips up, one, Belly sucks in, two, three, four, and bend the knees, open the knees, round the back, open the feet, and then close the feet, close the knees onto the ears, one, two, three, four, release your hands, send the hips back, close the legs, and send the hips down, Bend the knees, construct a rest position for a moment, hands just rest, tune into the inner body. And let's draw the knees into the chest, hug the knees in for a moment, nice everything all the way in, give a little roll side to side. Okay, we're just gonna do one last little movement, extend the left leg just for a moment, let's lift it up, two, three, four and five, drop it down and an easy reclining twist. One, two, three, four, and back to the center. Let's switch the legs and take it up. One, two, three, four, and drop the right leg. Easy reclining twist with the left. One two, three, four, and five. Back to the center. Take a moment, position yourself well on your mat. So if you're off to the bottom like I am, take a moment and move all the way forward. Relax your arms, relax the legs, close your eyes. Allow yourself a few moments of peace. Continue to reflect on the journey of strength. Recognize that the practice is really something that's measured in decades, years, lifetimes. As you feel yourself getting stronger, you'll find yourself becoming more peaceful. You'll find that the things that used to bother you about yourself, about your world, well, they just no longer bother you anymore because you have that place of peace, of infinite strength deep down inside. What it means to be strong in yoga on the spiritual path means to know exactly who you are, to have unshakable faith, to have a courageous heart and a receptive spirit, to be a perfect combination of wisdom and compassion, to have the mind remain equanimous. Recognize that each practice is just one step on the eternal journey of yoga. Let your heart be strong enough to see the truth. Let your spirit be strong enough to know the truth. Let your eyes be strong enough to perceive the truth and your ears be strong enough to hear the truth. And then allow yourself a nice deep breath in, moving your fingers and toes. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Hug the knees into your chest for a moment. Give yourself a little hug and roll over to the side and come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Recognize that 
Each pose has a lesson to teach you. And each pose has its own time. Your body has its own time, like the opening, the blooming of a flower. You can't rush that process. Instead, just nurture your body with patience, kindness, and tolerance. And let each breath plant the seeds of peace and faith deep in the garden of your heart. Bring your hands together and inhale. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide into the inner tradition of yoga. Remember to tune in tomorrow to continue and finish this one month beginner yoga challenge. Namaste.